It's Mark Edge with Free Talk Live. You can see us at freetalklive.com. We're live from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, six days a week, Monday through Friday. Or you can catch the podcast. It's free at freetalklive.com. Hi, this is Taryn Lupo, and welcome to Low Country Liberty Report. The Second Amendment clearly states that the right to bear arms shall not be infringed. Do things like zoning, permits, and basically asking where you can shoot your gun, what you can carry, where you can carry, do these things completely go against the Second Amendment? What's going on in Savannah is a university called Armstrong is trying to stand in the way of an indoor gun range coming to Savannah. I'm here with Hannah. Yes. And um, Hannah, you were at the meeting today. Why don't you give me a quick idea why you came and you thought this was important? Um, I came to support Mission Essentials. Um, I became a gun permit owner when I got mugged and um, tried to chase the guy for city block and stop them by jumping on the hood of the getaway car. And um, if it wasn't for some amazing pedestrians who saw what was going on, I probably would have been killed. And it's made me realize that if I don't carry and protect myself, my family, my children, um, that I could end up in a position I don't want to be in. So you kind of agree with the attitude that self-defense is your personal responsibility, not the police? Oh no, it's not the police. And plus, and from my personal experience, the police wouldn't have ever been there in time to have protected me. And if he was carrying a weapon, I would have probably been killed. And that made me realize that I, I have to shoot first for my own safety, my own protection. Those policemen didn't get there till 30 minutes later. Because the students might bring guns onto the campus, and this could lead to increased enrollment at Armstrong Atlantic by an increased threat to student and, uh, safety. Um, um, so I guess the main concern is with uh, Armstrong is that their student faculty or student student and faculty might bring firearms onto the campus. Um, in my school in Hinesville, I have lockers um, that soldiers can actually use to store their firearms when they're actually during uh, business hours, um, which I'm also planning on doing in the Savannah store. I've been doing this for three years now. People always con are concerned about firearms, and no matter where you go. And um, the main thing is, is, is firearms going to be involved in an incident, or are they not? And the only thing that I can provide is that we practice good, safe measures in our store and we practiced uh, teaching the right people that. Um, I can ensure you that my school will practice good things and uh, not uh, tell the students to take firearms on the campus and um, to teach them the right way of using a firearm. Will you require each person using your facility lock or something that fits on the trigger to keep it from working, whether it's loaded or not? Right. Will they be required to have a lock on the trigger when they come in your facility? Right. I don't think I'm going to ever say that they need to have it locked up when they come into the facility. Just make sure that it's unloaded. Um, when they come on the range and they intend to use the range, obviously they're going to go in there with fire, with ammunition and everything anyways. Um, I have range safety officers that I'm going to actually assign to the range facility. Whenever they go into the range, they must be accompanied with a range safety officer and ensure uh, good range practices and safety. The councilman's about to make a good point here. There's a police academy in the university and also one across the street in the mall right next to it. How come no one's worried about police carrying guns on campus or shooting guns? Anyone? Police academy. It's located in Armstrong. That's surprising. That's what I'm surprised about. Um, the police are also, they have Armstrong Police, Campus Police that are there. I want to see this happen so my family and I can go there and shoot <coughs> frequently. Um, I feel much more comfortable carrying my handgun for self-defense when I've been able to shoot frequently. Um, I drive along the Elkhorn all the time with a loaded handgun in my car. I think it's a fallacious and basically illogical argument to say that having a gun range across the street would be an inducement for people to take guns on campus. Uh, you know, there's a lot of traffic on Abercorn and I don't see an inducement there to go on campus. At Mission Essential Limited Savannah. Um, it's about a 45 minute drive which uh, from here to there, which is kind of a, a taxi drive. Also, I have to, when I'm carrying my handgun, now I'm crossing different county lines which I cross different counties and I don't know those police officers and they don't know me, which is kind of a, 
a drawback for me. I kind of rather prefer just to have to go a short distance with my firearm in the car. Also, when I attended college at St. Vincent, it was up north 10 years ago, the policy is no handguns on campus. Um, there's many students that were from out of town that do enjoy shooting firearms that still brought their guns on campus because they had nowhere to store them. I'm Jim Bryant. I represent the, the landlord. I'm a commercial broker here in town. So on behalf of the landlord, the landlord is obviously uh, very happy with the current tenancy that we have uh, with Mission Essential. This would uh, almost uh, be five times the size of their current location. Backfilling the space that the landlord has already been suffering damage from uh, voters who are going bankrupt. I too find it a fallacious argument that more guns are going to be brought on Armstrong's campus. I think somewhere to go practice on range provides you with, with that ability. Um, I find the people that, in my experience, that are cr criminally use handguns usually don't go to ranges to practice. At least that's not been that's not been my experience. I haven't been in gunfights, no, but I see the end results a lot. I practice in anesthesia in this city, and I practice in our trauma center, and I see the end result a lot. They're not good shots. Uh, so I really don't imagine they go to gun range. Like um, I like the Constitution, but I also understand that uh, pretty much everybody ignores it, and if politicians don't bother following it, I'm not sure why I should. So I really I'm not a big Constitution guy, but when I do talk to government officials who have sworn to uphold the Constitution, it is good to bring up and ask them questions. It's basically to point out the hypocrisy. The constitutionality of this, I feel that this is also a constitutional argument uh, for the Second Amendment. If you do place a zoning law, it tramples all over the, the Second Amendment. It's very clear. <coughs> that your rights should not be infringed. It's almost unconstitutional if the city does usurp the Constitution by saying, no, you can't have this gun range, or trying to uh, make laws that, that restrict that directly. And I know we're kind of so used to it because of that, but I'd really like to think that you guys will do the right thing and, and uphold the Constitution. Um, the Faculty Senate uh, has concern about the guns going and coming from the gun range. And I don't feel that my constitution is impinged upon by not being able to carry my gun to work because I work on a school campus. But I carry a gun to protect my family and innocent persons who might be armed. very much in favor of a range which has taken on the responsibility of teaching people how to handle firearms safely. Is, uh, the constitutionality is not uh, being infringed here or limited in any way. Uh, it, it, we're not talking about the right of people to keep and bear arms. We're talking about the presence of a indoor firing range and the use approval under the zoning regulations, which is the constitutional and has been challenged in numerous times. Um, so that it, you can move forward and however the board chooses to vote uh, without fear of violating the U.S. Constitution. Uh, all in favor of that motion say aye. 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 We oppose it. That motion is carried. We move on now to the petition of Donna Shannon. Now, Armstrong University is not the only university that has an issue with guns on campus. Uh, there's a university here called SCAD, and recently there was a group of students who got together and protested and said they wanted to be able to carry guns on campus. They actually wore empty holsters to class and around campus. The campus officials freaked out, told them that if they did it again, they'd get expelled. My problem isn't if it's a private university, because if it's a private university company, anything. If it's private, they can set their own rules and you have to follow those. Or you just don't go. But if it's a government associated university, like a state university, they take state funds, they take other people's tax money, then it's fair game. You can't tell someone that they can't protect themselves. I mean, what would have happened if Virginia Tech had some of those students been armed? That could have been a whole different story. And I don't understand why you get to step on a, a state-run campus and all of a sudden your rights just go away.